Hey folks, welcome to the channel. In today's build, we're gonna make some makume gane. For those that don't know, that's kind of like a decorative Damascus made with copper and nickel. It's not really used for blades because it doesn't hold an edge, but for the decorative parts like guards and pommels and spacers and things like that, it's pretty popular. It's also very popular for jewelry. So we're gonna make some of that today. Now, you can get it, uh, you can get it made by getting copper sheets and nickel sheets, and that's really expensive. What we're gonna use is these. Yes, folks, that's a quarter. We're gonna use a whole bunch of quarters, stack them up and forge them into a billet. And because quarters are made of copper and nickel, and they're already layered, we're gonna get that layered effect. And for those of you that say, you can't do that, that's illegal. It's not actually illegal to um, take U.S. coins and put them into things and make things with them. Uh, look it up, folks. It's not illegal. So let's get this build started. To start this project, I took all my quarters and cleaned them off with acetone. I wanted to make sure that I had a nice clean forge weld for these. I used these two round metal pipes just to stack the quarters on just so I could keep them nice and even. The next task was welding these up. I've seen people tie wire around them to keep them together while they're welding, but I've got a TIG welder, so I'm going to TIG weld them. I had no idea how to TIG weld this kind of material, so I started at about 75 amps. That didn't work. Then you'll see that I went up to about 100 amps. That also didn't work, and I was getting a little nervous at this point, but when I put it up to about 132 amps, that worked perfectly. So here I am welding at about 132 amps. It's running fine. I let it heat up a little bit, and then I put a line all the way down the quarters, and that worked really well. After the first line was successful, I put three more down the outsides of the quarters so I know I've got them held really tight. After doing the second line, the stack of quarters was glowing red, so it was pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. Now it's time to get them in the forge and let's do a forge weld. I had the forge turned down much lower than I normally have, certainly not at forge welding temperatures for steel. From the research I've done, the stack should be almost sweating, and that's how you know it's ready for the forge weld. Since I really didn't know what I was doing, I figured I would start with the same methodology I do for steel. Some light taps at first just to set the weld, and then get a little more aggressive afterwards. This stuff is really fun to work with. It moves really well under the hammer. You gotta be careful with your hammer blows because it's easy to leave marks in the metal. I kept hammering on this and reducing the stack until I got it about three quarters of an inch thick. I felt I had a good solid billet at this point, so I decided to start to hammer the sides to elongate it out a little bit. At this point, I've hammered the billet down to about a half inch. There was 27 coins to start out with, so I got a good layer count. Now it's time to put some kind of pattern in it, so I decided to ladder it. To put the ladder pattern in this billet, I put it in the vise, I took my angle grinder, and I just ground some grooves in both sides. Now we'll put this back in the forge, heat it up, and hammer out those ridges we put in with the angle grinder, and that'll bring our layers to the surface. At this point, I was pretty excited to see the pattern, so I ground it smooth, etched it, and this is what we got. This was certainly enough to make a guard, but I figured I cut a little piece off a corner of this to make a little piece of jewelry for my wife. I decided to make a heart pendant, 
So I cut out a little heart and here I am clamping it in a vise and just taking some hand files just to shape it and round it because I wanted to see the layers uh, around the round parts of the heart. With the stuff being so soft, it was really easy to file. In fact, you had to be careful not to leave too many file marks in it. The next step was hand sanding this, and I tried to do it just by sticking a piece of sandpaper to my ceramic tile, but it was really hard to work with because it's so tiny. I ended up moving to the 2x72 with the belt going really slow and just moving it up and down the belt. This worked really well. Now I'm doing some final buffing and it looks really good. You can see the layers in it already. What you hear in the background is Chad Kimmel and I discussing if I should etch this. Oh man, look at that. No, you, you, you made the right choice to etch that. <laughs> that looks awesome. This was a really fun build and I was really happy with the outcome and very happy that it worked the first time. For sure I'll be doing this in the future for some knives. Thanks for joining me folks and remember, hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one.